Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to build this gazebo in Minecraft. First of all we're going to have to gather our resources though, everything inside of this chest is what we're going to need for the build. Starting off at the top row here with all of our spruce variants that we're going to be using, followed by some stripped oak logs, some oak planks and then some oak trap doors. We then have some brick blocks which we also need some stairs, slabs and wall variants of them as well as 40 barrels. It's a little bit less but 40 should cover you. And lastly on this bottom row here we have nine coarse dirt followed by nine different flowers to go on top of the coarse dirt, four flower pots, three chains and then a single lantern. First things first we're going to grab some stripped oak logs and we're going to place down one and two three blocks apart to mark where the staircase leading into the gazebo is going to go. So the front is right there. We then need to leave two blocks diagonally and place another two once again three blocks apart and then pretty much just continue this pattern all the way around so leaving two diagonally and then three just across like that and at the end here you should have two more diagonals. And now what we can do on all of these four corners corners is come to this block right here and place down a barrel so you go one forward one to the right or left and then place one in the middle just like that and then we want to do that for the other three ones as well just like this and these horses are getting in the way quite badly but you should end up with a pattern like this now what we can do is bring each of these oak logs up by seven more blocks so there's one two three four five six and seven for a total of eight and of course you can do that for the other ones too. Once we have our pillars in position we can then come to one of the four corners doesn't matter which one I'll pick this one right here and we're going to have two upside down brick stairs just like this so you can see the bottom corner of the barrel. We're then going to have two full brick blocks on top followed by two spruce fences in front of it like that and a brick wall on top of that one and then you just have to hop up here and place down a flower pot that's purely decorative you're not going to put anything inside of that one but then what you can do on these two logs on the bottom block we're just going to place in two oak trap doors and then the block above it can have down two spruce buttons and you can then copy this round to the other three corners. We're now going to come to the front of the gazebo where you want the entrance to be and we're going to place down one and two brick blocks just like that and then a regular brick stair in front of it and then two more round to the side like that so we get that little bit of curvature. Right sheep? Is that good so far? I think he agrees. And then just above it we're going to have three brick stairs like that. So there's the entrance way but as for the other three sides what we're going to do is have two upside down brick stairs like that with a slab in the middle and then similarly to what we did in the corners we're going to have a barrel here so you can see a little bit of that block poking through. And on top of these brick blocks we're going to have three coarse dirt, three spruce trap doors to cover them up to make a flower bed and then we just want to stick some flowers on top of them. And you can repeat this to the other two remaining sides here. Now we've got that done we can actually step inside the gazebo here even though we are missing a roof right now but still you want to step inside and come to the center here and line yourself up with the barrels and then just pillar up and place in an oak plank at the same level as all of the blocks here and of course you can use your F3 screen to just double check the Y values on that making sure they are the same this thing over here and now what we can do from this central block our oak plank and of course you could use oak slabs if you want to save on some resources but you just want to come out by three blocks in all four directions just like I'm doing here and then for all four of these corners we're going to go one two three one two and three and then if we do that three more times we should end up with this shape here and the next step what we're going to do is place down some barrels all the way around these oak planks however we're not going to place them in like this as that's not a particularly nice texture we instead would like the upside down barrel texture which looks like 
that. So it's a little bit finicky to do. You're going to have to break some blocks and you may even have to break these barrels and come back and replace them afterward. But you just want to go all the way around placing in your upside down barrels and just make a rim all the way around the oak planks. And you should end up with something that looks like this for a floor. Pretty cool, I think. And obviously, assuming you've still got your barrels placed down, hopefully you managed to figure that out. It should be fairly self-explanatory. Hello, horse. Welcome to the gazebo. But now you just want to step inside onto your new floor. And what we're going to do is place in a brick wall excuse me horse in front of all of these oak logs just like this and then what we can do is switch over to our spruce fence gates and excluding the main entrance here on all of the remaining sides on top of these barrels here we just want to have three of those fence gates and they should just dip up and down a little bit that's perfectly normal and on the four corners we're going to have one and two more just like that connecting to that corner wall and then if we just do that three more times we eventually make our way all the way around to the start here and now what you can do is switch over to some spruce fences and on top of all of these brick walls not the ones with the flower pots on the ones next to the oak logs we're going to go up by one two three four and five basically to the top of the log here Now we can start work on our roof, beginning with the brick outline. And the first thing we're going to do is place in two brick stairs on top of all of these oak logs so that they're facing outwards like this. Make sure you're not placing them as something like this, for example. You want to actually cover up the top oak log so you shouldn't be able to see it from the outside. So go all the way around, placing down all of them on all eight logs. And now what we can do for the four sides is very simply just have a line of slabs going across from one stair all the way to the other side just three of them on all four sides pretty simple the corners are similar although you just need to place a temporary block here with a slab on the diagonal so that it looks like this and of course just do that for the other three corners when it comes to completing the roof the very first thing we're going to do is place in a spruce slab on top of this brick slab in the corner for all four of those so you just go around doing that and it's going to make the next steps a whole lot easier so we're just going to pick one of the sides for now do a part of it and then copy it on round so on and so forth until we eventually finish the roof so the first thing we're going to do is grab our spruce trap doors and we're going to have two here on top of those stairs we can then have two more on top of these stairs but facing the other direction as you can see this one's forward this one is to the side we can then switch over to our spruce slabs and we're going to have two here and then two on the oak planks or oak logs i should say we're going to have a spruce stair in the middle and then we can switch over to our spruce planks and we're going to have one, two next to those two slabs and then we're going to have one, two and three. And we'll just take a quick step back and have a look at what we got so far. Hopefully you're all following along fairly easily. We can then switch again over to our spruce trap doors, have one in the center here and then two more on top of those two planks. We can then grab some upside down stairs, which are just regular stairs placed in upside down on these three blocks. So from underneath, it should look like that. And then we're going to have a stair in the middle with two slabs either side. So this is one part of it done for one of the sides. You can then copy what we've just done here three more times. For the next step, we're once again going to do the corners first of all, and for that we're going to place in a spruce slab level with those two blocks and two spruce trap doors off the side of them and another slab on top of them. And you can just do that for the other three sides too, super quickly like I am here. There we go. And once you've got that done, same again, pick one of the sides and we'll copy it around afterwards. So the first thing we're going to do is have two spruce stairs on top of those trap doors facing like that. And then we're going to have a spruce slab on the back of both of them. And then we can place in a spruce trap door in the back of that stair. So it should all be level just like that. And we're going to have a slab on top with two spruce trap doors either side of it. So it should look like this at the moment. We can then just quickly hop around the back here. Some scaffolding may be wise if you're doing this in survival. But we're going to have a spruce slab behind both of those trap doors with a spruce plank in the middle. And that is what you can copy around to the other three sides. Thank you. 
So we're just left with this tiny section remaining and the first thing we need to do is just fill in all of these corners here and we're just going to place a spruce slab in line with the top of that stair. So just if you're doing it from underneath, place it on that part right there. Now what you can do is place in four spruce planks in all of these corner sections here with a slab in the middle so to make it nice and even along the top here, nice and flat. And then we're going to have a spruce trap door just facing into the center spot on all four sides. And then lastly, we can have a spruce slab and that right there completes the roof. However, there are a couple of things we need to do for the ceiling here. The first one is to actually replace this central upside down stair with a slab. It's not really necessary, but I just think it looks a little bit better that way. My new improvement, but I think it's still pretty good. So there we go. That's the ceiling all done. The very final thing we have to do is place in our chains and lantern. So three chains with a lantern hanging down from underneath. And that right there is the gazebo all done. Thank you everybody so much for watching this video. I really hope it's helped you out and that you enjoy your new gazebo. Thank you once again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.